right over your head. Just turn back now before you get yourself hurt. Or worse. We got this, come on! Shotgun! Time for this shit. <laughs> okay, divide and conquer. Case left. Sad with me. Case, I know you can hear me. Troy's made his decision. It doesn't have to be yours. You have a gift. Don't let it die here in the dirt. Don't 
each other, don't we, Case? I take it Dr. Goose had pointed you here. I knew he would eventually let us down. <laughs> but unusual circumstances make for unusual bedfellows. I'm sure you're well aware of that by now. I respect you, Case. I really do. You put everything into your work, your principles. You may not believe it anymore, but I am too. It's all just about perspective. The principles. <laughs> You're not that naive. Blind faith will only take you so far. They would kill each one of you given the open shot. We both betrayed our masters, haven't we? Easy, easy. Take me, kill me, Troy. There's nothing you can do to stop this. You know I hate being told what I can't do. Felix, get ready. I'm headed back to the Rook with the guest. We got lucky down there. Yeah, there is Zainas Schmid. Everyone is responsible for their own fortune. That includes Harrow. We don't know where that weapon went. I'll consider us lucky when Jane starts talking. Yes. She'll talk, one way or the other. Count on it. We're on our way home, and I can feel a giant guillotine hanging over our heads. When it drops, it's anyone's guess. Who is this person we're bringing back? Won't say a word. She's got that I know something you don't smirk on her face. I used to think it was cute, amusing. Maybe I should have seen this coming. She was changing and I wasn't changing with her, but I, I couldn't tell the difference. I just can't wrap my head around this. The motivation. She was a patriot. Followed in her parents' footsteps. They were both CIA too. They were her inspiration, believed in the mission. She never let them down. So what am I missing? They're wasting their time in there. She's not going to give anything up. Just be patient. Hey, we got a problem. Are still playing hard to get? Big surprise. She had something embedded in her forearm, a device. Felix thinks it's a tracker of some kind. They know where we are? We should assume that. Then let's get out of here. Take her someplace else. No, we don't have time to relocate. We make our stand here. The Pantheon wonder they're gonna have to fight for her on our turf. We need to get her to talk before that happens. Does sound like she's on a schedule? Leave that to me. I've got something tucked away that'll help. I just need some time to prepare. You're okay with this, Marshal, right? Get on it. The rest of us will start fortifying the house. If you got any unfinished business around here, now's the time to take care of it. Once we get started on Harrow, we're in it for the long haul. We're almost ready. Its official name is Phenosaurazine, but MK Ultra coined its separation. I've had it for a while. Let's hope it doesn't have an expiration date. In most test subjects, it fragmented their psyche, a form of induced schizophrenia. We're gonna find the part of Harrow that's willing to talk to us. Obviously not well enough. When Harrow arrived at Langley, she held a lot of promise. Curiosity, intellect, ambition. I tried to guide her in those early years. Maybe I wasn't the right one for the job. Don't ask. Well, it certainly served her well in her career. She now holds the most sway in the Special Activities Division behind Livingston himself. We should get started soon. Use the board when you want to get Harrow in here.
You got everything wrapped up? We should get started soon. This won't be an exact science. Think she'll survive it? Probably. <sighs> Is all this really necessary? I am outnumbered five and a half to one. Just give me a fucking reason. Enough bullshit. Just tell us what you're doing with that bioweapon. This doesn't have to get ugly. Well, where's the fun in that? Jane? <laughs> please, okay? You're better than this. Oh, you don't even know if you can do it. <laughs> We've both made our choices, Troy. I stand by mine, do you? <clears throat> I miss the old you. Ah. Let's see if she's still in there. Ah. Jane. Jane, you there? What is this? Had the cause of separation. Just relax. <laughs> relax. <laughs> um. Try. What is it? Talk to me. No. Please, no. Jen. I don't want to do this. No. happened here in your house what do you see mommy daddy Jane, sweetie, listen to me. You're bleeding. Uh, I, I'll, I'll be fine. I had a little accident, that's all. <sighs> Mommy needs you to stay in your room. Why do you have a gun? J Jane, just get under your bed and stay there as long as you can, okay? It, it's like you're playing hide-and-seek. I don't want to. Jane, Jane, please, get under the bed, okay? Just get under the bed. <sighs> I love you. I love you, too. childhood memory. Your mother was in danger? Yes. Why do you think you're remembering this now? I've never stopped remembering this, Troy. It made me who I am. Or was. Or will be. I don't... 
I don't know anymore. What about the cradle? Does that name mean anything to you? Maybe. Something to do with my mirror. Your mirror? Yes. is inside. Don't you fucking dare. You don't need to tell them anything. I need to know. Keep your mouth shut! Jay, you alright? I'm somewhere else. I have to fix the mirror. Put the pieces back together. Win a shard by searching around. Solve the clues for numbers found. These three numbers you must glean, then put them in the order seen. When I was a girl, my mother loved making scavenger hunts for me. Where are you now? I'm... I'm in Vercuta. Vercuta? You were there recently. That's where you scaled up the bio Where did it go after that? I don't remember. will get the win. My mother loved the thrill of the hunt. Unlocking of a puzzle. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. That's why I loved having you by my side all those years. I miss it too, Troy. They came for tea and friendly chat. Count the guests and double that. I'm trying to pitch you at a tea party. <laughs> they happened, Troy. Though it didn't last. Some people retreat into their imaginations after tragedy. I did the opposite. Hard, wanting more, always seek the highest score.
parents push you hard. I remember. It wasn't a bad thing. Firm but gentle. Saying stick in those early years. I was nine when my pop came home from Vietnam. Broken. That stuck. I understand. Does he? Working hard, wanting more, always seek the highest score. 